Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we're looking at the Presiduous Rec Spec with the khaki brown colorway and the sand leather strap. MSRP for this watch is $295. Now this watch is a recreation or a homage of a watch that was worn in the Vietnam War by the Military Assistance Command Vietnam Studies and Observation Group, so M-A-C-V-S-O-G. All right, into the watch here we have a box dome crystal. Now this is a mineral crystal with K1 sapphire coating applied to the crystal to give you some of the scratch resistance of a sapphire crystal, but also it uh, lowers the price of the watch uh, because it's mineral crystal instead of full sapphire. It does have AR coating applied. You can see that they're a little bit kind of a bluish tint, I think. Uh, brushed and polished 316L stainless steel case. It's a really cool looking case. We have the brushing on the side here. We have the drilled lugs, polished chamfered edge, and then the polished bevel on the bezel there. We have applied indices. Some of the pictures online of the other colorways look like they had a textured dial. I can't quite see the texturing on this, but let me know if you can see the texturing on the dial. This colorway may not have that texturing. Let's move the minute hand so we can get a better look at that date window. It's a very cool date window. It is framed in here. And then we have the day of the month along with the date. Uh, I am struggling a little bit with this crown and that's um, my, really my only complaint with this watch is that crown is, is really tucked in there. And uh, that's to uh, homage the look of the Seikos from the 1960s, which the group did go out. They went, went out and sourced some Seiko watches from the local Vietnamese market. And uh, this watch is a, a very close recreation of that. So it is a push-pull crown. It's tucked right in there like the old Seiko 5s. Uh, you can get a fingernail in there, pull it out one click, and then that allows you to change the date and the date. I won't do it now because I'm in the 10 o'clock position, the danger zone. And then you can pull it all the way out. Second hand stops, so we have hacking. We do have hand winding, so I push it all the way in. And I can wind it. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. This is how you wind it. So it's the Seiko NH36 movement. 40 hours of power reserve, six beats per second. Really a bulletproof uh, movement, so no issues with the movement there. I do like that mismatch color there of the date window. It looks pretty neat. The leather straps are very comfortable. There's a quick release strap. And uh, overall, I like the styling of the watch. 38 millimeters, so it's a good size for this type of watch. I believe the original would have been, a, uh, I think, a 36 millimeter, but uh, I could be mistaken there. So as I mentioned, we have the applied indices. All 11 indices are loom. We have loom on the hour and minute hand. We'll check out the loom at the end of the video here. And then we have some printing on here. Presiduous, Rexpec, 24 jewels, and then the minute track is printed as well. Oh yes, also this watch does have American assembly, so I really appreciate that. I think all of their watches have American assembly, uh, as it says here, United States assembly. The case back looks like it's bead blasted, so that's kind of neat. So we can read the case back. I had it right the first time. So Presiduous, again, Mac V SOG field watch, Japan automatic movement, and then assembled in the USA. Let's zoom back out here. Okay, dimensions of the watch, 45 lug to lug. Again, we do have drilled lugs here. It does have quick release pens, but if you want to put it on a different strap, you can very easily put whatever you want on here with those drilled lugs. So 45 lug to lug, 38 millimeter case diameter, 12.3 millimeter thick, up to the top of this. The, the, the top of this crystal is flat, it's uh, dead flat. So I do like that it has the dome look, but also it's flat on top, so it's very easy to read and tell the time. 20 millimeter lug width, and this strap does taper down to 16 millimeter. The crown, I think this is the smallest crown I've measured uh, as of date. 3.5 millimeter crown, and the watch weighs in at 62 grams. 
I do have a Seiko 5 with a, a very similar looking case, so I will compare this to that watch in the future. I believe that one is a 36, but it has the same uh, kind of crown here, really tucked in there. So let me get this on wrist. Oh, uh, also we do have a milled buckle and a milled tang. So a nice touch there, and it is brushed and polished just like the case. So I have a six and a half inch wrist and I am on the last hole position. So I'd say you could probably go up to uh, eight and a half inch wrist with this strap pretty easily. Uh, if you have a smaller or larger wrist than, than that range, then very easy to throw another strap on here. But this is a nice comfortable leather strap. So there's a look at it on my six and a half inch wrist with a 52 millimeter wristband. This watch does wear wonderfully. So I wouldn't let that hold you back from purchasing this watch. All right, let's take a look at the loom. Something else I forgot to mention is the watch is rated for 50 meters of water resistance, so perfectly fine for your everyday use. Getting caught out in the rain, you could probably even go uh, for a swim in the pool with it if you really wanted to, but I wouldn't do anything too crazy with that. Anyway, here's a look at it uh, compared to my SKX009. I'd say the dials are probably about the same size. This one might actually have a larger dial. Yeah, they're pretty much the same size. All right, now we will take a look at the loom. Okay, the Rexbeck, of course, is on the left and my SKX is on the right. Now the loom, the hands uh, look to be kind of a bluish color and then no, no, they look pretty much the same color. I think it's just the size of the hands versus the indices kind of threw me off a little bit. So anyway, here we go. A wonderful loom on this Prestigious. Uh, no complaints with the loom on that watch. Now, it would be nice if the hands were a little bit larger to have a little bit more loom, but uh, I think it looks pretty much period correct with those smaller hands. So really no complaints with the loom on the Prestigious. All right, that will conclude this video. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.